What's up, everybody? It's Eat a Prophet here to do another video. And uh, this video is going to be called UFC Vegas 41 Aftermath. Marvin Vittori and Alex Caceres are heroes. Paulo Costa is a cheat. And I really just want to take the time in this video to give my appreciation to two people, Marvin Vittori and Alex Caceres. Uh, I'm also going to take time to shit heavily on Paulo Costa. And I'm going to add Al Jermaine Sterling too. Because I'm pretty disgusted with him. Especially after saying my man Alex Caceres and what he did in UFC Vegas 41. It made me dislike Al Jermaine Sterling just a little bit more. Let me explain. Uh, Alex Caceres was fighting. I can't remember the, the, the dude's whole name. So I'm going to just call him Choi. He was fighting Choi. And uh, Choi had him. And he hurt him and he had knocked him down. And then... You know, for some strange reason, you know, Choi need him while he was down, hit him hard, you know, and you can see it, it affected Alex because he, he wobbled away from it. But Alex Caceres being the man that he is, the stud that he is, you know, he didn't bitch out. He didn't go out like a, a, a bitch. You know, he manned up. He took some time to recover. They took the point away from Choi for the foul and he kept on fighting and he and he ended up winning the fight. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you, that just showed me what a man, Alex Caceres, is. Uh, Bruce Leroy, you know, what he, he, I remember this dude has been around. I can't remember which Ultimate Fighter he was on, but he's been around for a long time. And I'm so happy to see him making his run because he's won about four or five straight now, I think. And, um, you know, he, I, I think he's ready to be given a top 10 opponent at this point. You know what I'm saying? I think he deserves it. Um, Especially after he showed how a man, and when I say man, I'm talking women too, how a man is supposed to behave in a fight. You know, these are fighters. These are warriors. You know what I'm saying? So when somebody like Al Jermaine Sterling gets hit with a knee and acts like he can't continue and takes the title, and then, you know, not only did he win the title in the most bitch way possible, then... He can't even fight in a fucking rematch. You know, he got an injury all of a sudden. He, he has to bow out of the match. You know, I just got no respect for that dude whatsoever, man. I, I do not like Al Jermaine Sterling. And uh, I do not like Paulo Costa. I'm about to get to Costa in a minute, too. But I just want to say one more time, big thumbs up to Bruce Leroy, Alex Caceres, for manning up and showing, you know, how, how, how a true athlete behaves. Because let me say this, when it comes to kneeing a downed opponent, and this is the way I feel about this shit, unless your ass gets knocked out, I mean not cold, even if it's just for an instant, and if you get knocked cold, the referee's going to see it, if you get knocked cold or you get kneed in the eye and your vision is impaired, those are the only two reasons I see for not continuing to fight. For If you get hurt with a knee and you're just hurt, take the time to recover and keep fighting. The other, your opponent's going to lose a point, so that'll give you, the, you know, it'll even out. You know what I'm saying? You might, your opponent might even lose two points, depending on the referee. So keep fighting. To me, that is just the most bitch-made shit when fighters stop fighting because of that. Like I said, unless you get knocked out or your, or your vision is impaired, keep fighting. It's just like anything else. Keep fighting. It ain't no worse than getting poked in the eye or, or, or some of these low blows. Keep fighting. Now, on to Marvin Vittori and Paulo Costa. Marvin Vittori is my new hero. I'm going to tell you, I never really cared for the dude or his fighting style that much until now. He showed me what a true warrior he is. And now when I hear Marvin Vittori's name, I'm going to probably get excited. I'm going to cheer for this dude no matter who he fights. I just got a whole new love and appreciation for Marvin Vittori. And this scumbag, Paulo Costa, you know, his cheating ass is probably the best thing that it could have happened for Marvin Vittori. Because these are the kind of moments in MMA. It's not always just about your fight. Sometimes you have to take advantage of the right opportunity at the right time. And I believe Marvin Vittori did that. Not only did he did not, not only did he not bitch out, which he could have did. No, actually, it wouldn't even have been a bitch move if he, just, if he didn't accept the fight. Honestly, it just showed how much of a stud he is, how much of a banger he is to take that fight. At 20 pounds over the agreed upon weight. Because was, this was supposed to be a 185 middleweight contenders fight. And Paulo Costa's cheating ass fucked it all up. Made it, a, you know, it ended up being a, a fight at 205. 
You know, he comes in three days before the fucking fight saying he can't make weight. That is the most bitch ass shit I have ever seen. You, Man, this dude, honestly, I know why Dana White didn't kick him out because he looked good in the fight. But he going to get his ass with, I guarantee it. He going to get his ass with the 205. Because they, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you, neither him or Vittori should really fight it. 205. Costa got the size to probably do it, but you got some big ass dudes at 205. And he ain't going to be so big at 205. You know what I'm saying? Even as big as he was at 185, Israel Adesanya showed the size that went always matter. You know what I'm saying? So, Paulo Costa's a cheat. He's a snake. That was some deceptive shit. And, and Marvin Rattoy still went in there and beat his ass. I mean, it was a good fight. Don't get me wrong. It was They, they banged. It was a good fight. But Vittori still went in there and won the fight. And I prayed that Vittori was going to win this fight. And he went in there and did the job. And I just got nothing but praise, respect, and admiration for Marvin Vittori at this moment. You know what I'm saying? I really hope his path to the championship is a lot shorter. Because he saved the event. He said if he would have bitched out and not fought, there would have been no event. What, I mean, what, what was you going to put as the, 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 uh, the main event? Yeah, that, that, yeah. So he saved the event, you know, and um, they, they owe him big time for that. And uh, I really hope, like I said, he, his path to the championship, back to the championship is going to be shortened because of uh, this win. But, um, yeah, Costa is a cheat. That was some cheating. He may as well have just taken his fucking steroids, in my opinion. To come in, to, to, to change it to 20 pounds heavier, because he's a big dude with the size advantage. You know, that was just some cheating ass shit to me. I, I, I really, that left a bad ass taste. And like I said, Al Jermaine Sterling, bitch ass, couldn't keep fighting, then can't even fight in a rematch. Man, I cannot wait till this dude has to fight a fighter like Peter Yawn or somebody of that level. I want to see him get his ass whipped bad. I can't stand Al Jermaine Sterling. I can't stand Paulo Costa, but I got a lot of love for Alex Caceres. And I got a lot of love for Marvin Vittori. You know, they, they are definitely two of my favorite fighters in the organization at this point. So much love. Both of them, stand-up dudes. Dudes, if you got into it somewhere, they the kind of dudes you want having your back. Alex Caceres and Marvin Vittori. They the kind of dudes, you know, I was in the military. They the kind of dudes I get in the foxhole with. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be worried. You know what I'm saying? Much love to those two dudes. Um, this is not going to be a long video. I really just wanted to hit on those two points. I'm not even going to review the whole card. You know, it was a pretty decent card, but those are really the only two fights I really wanted to mention because of the impact, you know, that, 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 you know, that it had and what could have happened if uh, Alex Caceres and Marvin Vittori weren't such stand-up guys. You know, it definitely could have went ugly in both of those situations. So thanks to those two gentlemen. You know, uh, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Share the video if you like. You know, please leave a comment. Leave your thoughts, your opinions. Everybody better agree with me on this shit for real. I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you, a lot of journalists been giving Al Jermaine Sterling the benefit of the doubt. They some bitches too, for real. And anybody who think what Al Jermaine Sterling did was cool or was okay is a bitch. For real. Yeah, I said it. That's how I feel. <laughs> and that's what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who condones what he did, y'all not MMA fans. Y'all don't know shit about MMA. Because what he did, going back to, to, to all of the heart, going back to fucking Hoyce Gracie against Dan Severn, and the heart he showed, and all of the heart and integrity that these fighters have shown to let people like that fuck it up. Paulo Costa and Aljamain Sterling fuck it all up. Nah, hell no. Hell no. Nah. And for those of y'all, oh, for those of y'all who saying uh, Nick Diaz did this shit against Robbie Lawler, the difference between Nick Diaz and Robbie Lawler and Paulo Costa and Marvin Vittori is that Nick Diaz and Robbie Lawler don't mean shit to the welterweight division. That fight had no impact or no implication whatsoever on the welterweight division, whereas Paulo Costa and Marvin Vittori are two contenders in the top 10. You know, I think Costa's number four and Vittori's number six, I think. So both of those guys are like up in the top 10. So that fight definitely had implications on the middleweight division and how quick either either one of these two were going to get a title shot. Evidently, Paulo Costa don't care about a title shot because he couldn't even make weight. So, you know, like I said, I hope that went counsel with Tory towards him, you know, in his quest to get back to the middleweight uh, title or getting at least 
a shot at the middleweight champion who is currently uh, the man, Israel Adesanya. But anyway, I just wanted to get those that last point and I forgot to mention. But anyway, y'all, I love you. Thank you for watching the video. Everybody stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy. Peace.